Hello brothers and sisters, I want to welcome you back to an all new Sermons in the Park. As always, I am your Reverend Jamie McCaskill. And um, I just want to say once again that I'm so thankful that uh, God has uh, brought you here today and brought me here today so that it, um, we can look further into His Word. And, um, you know, last week if you tuned in, you know that <coughs> we... Um, we start. We've continued our look at the Book of Revelations, uh, and we started uh, last week with Chapter Four, and we spoke on um, how what we are seeing uh, was the Temple in Jerusalem. Because, like I was telling you guys, um, what Noah's, what I'm sorry, what Moses saw uh, that that caused him to uh, draw up how the temple should look. Um, was he saw the royal court in heaven, and the or if you will the throne room, and uh, that was what uh, later you know Solomon would. Uh, he that's how he would uh, lay out the temple in Jerusalem, and he would model it also after um, the throne room in heaven, and um, and this week we're going to continue from there. We're going to be uh, so if you'll go ahead with me and turn to chapter five of Revelation. We're going to read that. We're going to read all the way from verse 1 to all the way to verse 14. So <laughs> if you want to turn with me, you can go ahead and do that. I'll give you a moment. Uh, Revelation 5. We're going to be reading the whole chapter 5. Um, so Revelation 5 starts off. It says, And I saw in the right hand of him that sat on the throne a book written within and on the back side, sealed with seven seals. And I saw a strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice, Who is worthy to open the book and to loose the seals thereof? And no man in heaven, nor in earth, nor under the earth, was able to open the book, neither to look therein. And I wept much, because no man was found worthy to open and to read the book, neither to look thereon. And one of the elders saith unto me, Weep not. Behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, hath prevailed to open the one book and to loose the seven seals thereof. And I beheld, and lo, in the midst of the throne, and of the four beasts, and in the middle of the elders, stood a lamb, as if it had been slain, having seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of God, sent forth into all the earth. And he came and took the book out of the right hand of him that sat on the throne. And when he had taken the book, the four beasts and four and twenty elders fell down before the Lamb, having every one of them harps and golden vials full of odors, which are the prayers of the saints. And they sang a new song, saying, Thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof. For thou wast slain, and hast redeemed us to God by thy blood out of every kindred and tongue and people and nation, and hast made us unto our God kings and priests, and we shall reign on the earth. And I beheld and I heard a voice of many angels round about the throne, and the beasts and the elders, and the numbers of them was ten thousand times ten thousand and thousands of thousands saying with a loud voice, Worthy is the Lord, I'm sorry, worthy is the, <laughs> worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessing. And every creature which is in heaven and on earth and under the earth, as such as are in the sea, and all that are in them, heard I saying, Blessing and honor and glory and power, be unto him that sitteth upon the throne, and unto the Lamb for ever and ever. And the four beasts said, Amen. And the four and twenty elders fell down and worshipped him that liveth for ever and ever. So, what are we reading here exactly? You know, last week we spoke on how what we were reading was the, uh, the description of the temple, right? Um, because it was modeled after the throne. So what are we reading here? Now what we're reading here... You might be asking, well, what does it mean, right? So, 
What John is describing here is he's describing a particular scene, right? He's setting the scene for us, a drama, a scene of drama, a scene of praise. And where is it taking place? It's taking place in heaven, right? It's taking place up there in heaven. And uh, last week, um, while reading chapter 4, John set up the scene. He set it all up for us, right? Uh, we saw the throne. We saw the 24 elders. We saw uh, the four beasts, which we assume are angels, right? So here we see the book. And sometimes it's described as, in some Bibles, you'll, you'll read books. Some you might read scroll. Um, and it's in God's right hand. And it's sealed seven times. with, And, and it has writing. Right, now this is what I want you to think of. It has writing on both sides. At the time with, with, that this was written and they wrote the scrolls, they only wrote on one side. They didn't write on both sides. But you'll see that it's written on both sides. Um, the scroll, it symbolizes God's judgment on sin and wickedness. Uh, you know, and per personally, me, I like how in verse 2 the angel asks, Who is worthy? Who is worthy to open the book and open the seals? And it tells us that no one on earth, you know, no one in, earth, no one in heaven, no one on earth, no one below the earth, no one was worthy of opening this, the seals. And... Um, John actually starts to weep, right? He starts to cry, he becomes hopeless, because he, th you know, he was thinking just as you know we see this that uh, no one is worthy, and it makes him hopeless. Um, then what do we see? One of the elders here, he he looks at John and he starts to reassure him. You know, he tells him that uh, there are there's one, and that one is Jesus. And Jesus is described to us here as the Lion of Judah, and he's described as the Root of David. And uh, but how is he symbolized? You know, he this this elder tells John that uh, it's a lion, and it's the Root of David. So when you're thinking you're going to turn around, you're going to see a lion. But when John turns around and looks at Jesus, he looks at him. He sees a lamb. You know. Uh, and not only is he a lamb, he's a lamb that's been slaughtered, you know, symbolizing the cross, the day, you know, that Jesus was on the cross. So he's seeing Jesus as a lamb who had been sacrificed. And it says that, uh, that it says the lamb approaches and he takes the book from the right hand of God. And when he does this, everyone begins to sing. And they sing what it says is a new song. <clears throat> and this chapter then ends with a series of praises and responses, right? And, and they sing a song of, uh, of, uh, of praise, to, praise to Jesus and God for, uh, for, for his worthiness and uh, to his worthiness to enact God's judgment. And then it, uh, there, there's a response. Then this response is a, of innumerable amount. It, just, it describes such a huge, huge number. That you know, John didn't know how to number it. He's like, oh, tens of thousands of thousands of thousands. You know, it's that's a it's a huge number of, pe of people praising God, and this represents the fact that, you know, we as Christians love to we we tell people all the time, you know, that in the end, every knee shall bow, every voice shall praise Him. And that's what we're seeing here. We're seeing every knee bowing and every voice praising the glory of God, and that's what we're reading here. And it's echoed, right? It's echoed by every creature in creation. That means like your dogs, your cats, you know, all animals will, will, will and even the, it even says the fish of the sea will praise, praise the name. And that's what we're seeing here. We're seeing the, we're seeing, you know, Jesus has taken the, the scroll. He's ready to bring down the judgment on the earth. And he's, in the, in, uh, and you'll see next week we're going to start opening the seals. And he's going to praise the name. So, um, next week be ready for that we're going to be uh we're going to start the opening of the seals and uh and they're going to be praising the name of god and praising the name of jesus um so be prepared for that for next week we're going to be start we're going to start chapter uh chapter chapter eight uh chapter six i'm sorry so i hope to see you all here next week you know, may uh, may God bless you and keep you, and uh, I'll see you all when you return here next week. And next week be prepared because it is going to be a lot longer sermon uh, as we, we start to open the seals. 
thank you and God bless you and keep you and I'll see you next week.